Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today I am going to be showing everyone, or at least the like one, maybe two viewers that play Minecraft Dungeons on my channel. I'm gonna show them how to farm emeralds. You see if I open my inventory. I'm actually running kinda low, I only have 2,000. Now the reason I don't have any stuff is because I salvaged a lot of it. Um, or just was doing it in two months, but. Uh, this is my armor, this is like my armor just for hunting um, uniques. It's just my main weapon. However, I'm going to show you how to do a AFK emerald farm. So you will need any armor that has thorns and final shout. Now, two thorns and a final shout is perfect. However, one thorn and final shout also works. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to want any kind of melee that has prospector. The more, the better. Now, the best way you can get this is you go to um, creepy crypt. And you just speed run, you go through it over and over until you can get a diamond pickaxe, because that has built-in prospector. And then three prospectors, that's four prospectors in total. So that's how you're going to get the most emeralds, but it doesn't matter. You can do this with one, or even none if you wanted to, but I don't know if you'll get emeralds if you do it with none. So you're going to want at least a weapon with at least prospector three once. I have it twice, because I got lucky. So Next, you're going to need a totem of regeneration, a tasty bone. And a llama. And I'll tell you why you're going to need these things in a minute. So let me put this on. Actually, no. I'm going to leave it off for now. Just until I get to the part I need to be at. So, you're going to want to go here. I recommend turning the difficulty down to whatever you feel comfortable with. Just so it's safer. Um, My stuff is pretty good already. Like, I run Apocalypse all the time. So, I'm just going to go on to Adventure to do this. Um, I should be fine with... Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to go to Pumpkin Pastures, and I'll just leave that max for adventure. I think I'll do fine. I might be able to do this in um, Apocalypse. I don't know. I just haven't tried. However, the difficulty, I don't think, actually matters. So, yeah. Let me just load into this. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm tired. Okay. Come on. I love the heart for this game. It never gets old. Well, all right, here we go. So let me run all the way to the spider we need to get to. I don't actually have speedrun armor. I need to be getting a new set. I can form for it later on today, though. If you guys like the Minecraft Dungeons content, let me know. I'll definitely make more. And you might not be able to run on that iron, depending on um, what generation you have. However, you can do this on any of the... On, like, any run of this. It doesn't matter. There's no generation of so Don't worry. Keep going ahead. I'm actually going to grab a chest that's over here. Keep first. It, you, like, you can't miss it. No. All the way over here. Now, this you you can do this however you want. So you go over here. You have to clear the wave that pops up here. Okay, so, what you're gonna need, any kind of armor that has final shout and thorns. Thorns, so that way if mobs hit you, they'll get damaged, and final shout, so it triggers all your artifacts when you get too low. Now, the tasty bone is for, the dog will go up and kill any enemies that's around, and it's decently fast at attacking too. However, some you can't get the whole thing on your screen, so what you're gonna need is um, the wonderful wheat, so the llama can shoot the ones that are off screen. And then total regeneration, so after you get low, it heals you up. Prospector, so you get more emeralds. And now we're ready to begin. So we'll go up here. Do not flick any of the levers. You can flick one of them if you want. I'm not going to. 
You just stand right about here, and you just activate your stuff. And now that this is going on, uh, I'm, I'm just going to end now, honestly. What, um, see, Prospector just uh, triggered there, so the animals will stay there. And you won't lose, um, I don't know if you gain experience from this, I'm not sure. However, I do know the emeralds will not respawn, and neither will the arrows, the apples, any consumables, and you can also get armor and bows and stuff from this. I don't think they're going to be that good, to be honest, but you, you still will get them. It's a low chance, but it is possible to get them, so that's good. Cool. In fact, I think if you were to get an armor that had thorns, final show, and luck of the sea 3, like this armor has, luck of the sea... You could possibly get uniques from this too, I think. It's very unlikely, but you can do this as long as you want. And that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the recording here and cut it. And I'll cut to a later time when I've been running the farm for a while. So here, we'll see. I didn't trigger yet. I'll just leave this running for now, so you guys can see what happens when I get too low on health. Okay. If I get low enough, give it a second. You have to get kind of low for this, honestly, but it's fine. There you go. So all your thing, all your artifacts will trigger, no matter the cooldown. So now I'm full health again. Tasty bone and wonderful. We got triggered again, and when they die. You'll get hit enough to go low enough, and then they'll respawn right away anyway. So, you're not going to die, and if you feel scared that you might, um, you think the mobs might be too strong, or your stuff isn't strong enough, just run it in default. There's there's no bad thing about doing that. Um, I'm not actually sure how many people play Minecraft Dungeons that watch my channel, but either way, it's going to be helpful for anyone. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. I know you guys didn't actually go anywhere, however, it's been about 20 to 30 minutes and this is how it's going so far. I'm not, I can't remember how much I started with, I should probably check how many emeralds I had first. Um, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it on text somewhere on the screen right now so you can see how many emeralds I have to start and I'm about to collect everything and see what I have now. Uh, let me switch my armor and weapon back switch everything back for now because I'm ending it. Alright, here we go. So we got a lot of potions, a lot of food, and other stuff. Here's some guys. So, I'm just gonna get everything. Let me quickly put the other level so I'm not doing as much stuff that way it's quite realistic. There's a lot of gear here. Oh, if you need to do any food challenges for the battle pass, like a certain amount of food, that is definitely the way to go. Or potions, there's a lot of potions. Can't pick up a pack. Let's chest a bit more. Alright, so after that, we return. That is not what I meant to do, I'm going to return to camp. Let's see. Okay. So let me just salvage all this stuff that I don't need. It's like, that gave me a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna use at all. And those two. Alright. So, we now have 3,721. So that's a profit of. I'll put it on screen somewhere right now. Um, so yeah, that's how I do the Emerald Farm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to know anything else, Minecraft Dungeon related, let me know.